but then your troops, your soldiers have been accused of this in village after village. Atrocities, v villagers killed, women raped, children killed, villages, villages burnt down, UN sanctions against some of your officials. I mean, there's a whole laundry list. This did not happen. It did not happen. It is a policy from where even from external forces who ordered their staff in, the, in, the, in this country that all the reports that they have to send to the UN and send to whether to New York or to where must be against the government because this government is unwanted. And so it was not true that you know, my soldiers did this. Why did they not do it during the 21 year of war of liberation? Mm. They did not do it. SPLA was never accused of, uh, of these you know, killings or rapes and all that. Yeah. Are you denying all of this? This is not true. If an individual has committed such a crime, it is an individual. It is not the whole army. And such crimes are everywhere, even in Iraq they have happened. Mm. They happen in, in, in Libya. They are now happening in Yemen uh, and Syria. So in a war situation, some people will take that to their advantage. But at the same time, people are blaming you because they say the buck has to stop somewhere. And they say Salva Kiir is the one responsible. Let them stop fighting and I will go peacefully. If the people who elected me to this office say that, Salva, enough is enough. You go home. I will go. Yeah, you said if, and that's a very big if. What if war breaks out again? And I know this nation is very war-weary, tired, sick and tired of fighting. What if it breaks out again? I'm saying, I'm saying this if because, you know, it is not me alone who is going to implement the agreement. Mm. There are so many others who are going to join me and so that we implement the agreement together. This is where I have the if. Otherwise, if it is me alone, I don't, I don't really see any danger that will bring war again. And when it's all over, when, when Salva Kiir Mayadid is come and gone and it's decades from now, what would you like them to remember you for? Well, I have done many things that you know I can be remembered for. I fought the war in the young age to this age that I have now grown old.